Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. It is Sunday, which of course means it is random pick day. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Today, as always, we will be choosing three random players from different pages. And the price ranges I've gone with today are, for the first two players, I think I put the maximum and minimum bin to 5k and 10k. So that we get somewhere between 5 and 10k players. And the last player, I doubled that, so 10k to 20k. Uh, hopefully that means we get some pretty good players. In at number one, we get page number three and we get the 81 rated Marquinhos, a Brazilian centre back for Paris Saint-Germain in the league. Uh, not too bad for a start. I was kind of hoping from someone a little bit further up the pitch, but what can you do? It's all random, right? Uh, moving on, we get a page number six. We get two 83 rated options here. One is a goalkeeper, so I'm probably not going to use that. And two is uh, Daniele Di Rossi, the Italian CDM from Roma. I decide to go with him, and again, I kind of wanted someone a little bit further up the pitch, but what can you do? Um, and we finally get one. We get Andre Schürrler there, an 80-rated card. It just so happens that he's the lowest rated out of the three, yet he costs the most, um, because, of course, his card looks absolutely epic this year, even though it's been slightly downgraded. Um, so I went ahead and chose a formation. I knew I needed to fit these three players in. I've gone with the 4-3-3-3 um, with the two CDMs, and this is where I'm going to play everyone. Left centre-back for our man Marquinhos, centre midfield for De Rossi, and then left wing for Scherler. The team around them looks a little bit like this. It's quite nice. It's like, I don't know how many leagues and nations, but I think I might class that one as a little bit of a hybrid. Uh, we've got Sirigu in goal, the Italian, uh, of course, who plays for the same team as Marquinhos, which is PSG. We've got Jefferson and Sanya, left back and right back. Probably not my best choice of options, but with this team, I felt like I kind of needed them. I had to use Sanya for perfect chemistry to Mangala. But our first round of pick player today is Marquinhos. He, of course, is he's probably the third best centre-back for PSG um, behind Thiago Silva and David Luiz. He's got 73 pace, 84 defending, and 76 physical. He's not very tall. That's the main issue I have with him. Uh, and moving on into the midfield, we've got Luis Gustavo and we've got Vainqueur. Vainqueur? Sorry if I can't pronounce his name correctly. But our third uh, player in the midfield and our second round of pick player is Daniele De Rossi. 83 rated overall. He's not very quick. He's not got great passing, great shooting, all of that stuff. But what he has got is amazing physical and defending. That's where this guy is solid. We've got Iturbe and Dybala, the Argentines from Serie A. Um, Boosting the strike force quite nicely there. And then our third random pick player today is Andre Scherler. He's 80 rated place for Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. He's German. 89 pace, 82 dribbling and 80 shooting overall. He's got the four star skill moves and that should hopefully mean we're going to score some goals with him. So that is your entire team. In total, I think it costs around the 75k mark. Uh, you might even be able to get it for a little bit cheaper than that, you know, which is good. You know, these players will probably start to come down in price. What I found is that Iturbe, although he scored this quite nice goal for me, lovely volley there. I like that technique. Good ball in from Dybala, one of those early crosses, and then he just volleys it in. Although he scored that one goal... I didn't feel like he did that much else, you know. He Fair enough, he was out wide and he probably created a couple of goals. But I felt like he was the weakest out of the three strikers. Take a bow, Mangala, for that finish, by the way. A lovely scissor kick into the back of the net. How has that gone in? I have no idea. Um, but that was actually the last goal that I scored with this team. And I thought, you know what, we can end it on that. Because that's a brilliant goal to score. Probably not going to score a better one with this team. Um, then we talk about Dybala. Dybala was... A very strange one. He pops up with the odd goal every now and again, but I seem to struggle with him quite a lot. And I was so hyped about him at the start of FIFA this year that, I don't know, he's maybe been a little bit of a disappointment to me. Um, I don't know. Uh, but he did score this, this lovely long-range free kick with a power shot. I love that. You hold the LB button when you take your free kick, and he blasts it into the back of the net. Luckily, the wall didn't jump at that point, because I think that probably would have hit the wall and then not gone into the back of the net. Take a look at this for a couple of goals from De Rossi, by the way. That one right there was a stunning strike. A lovely bit of dribbling as well. Uh, and considering his card stats don't look amazing for dribbling and shooting, he didn't half prove them wrong right there. And once again here, just taking it past defenders. And another power blaster. He's obviously got some crazy shot power because he was just annihilating it and knocking it straight into the back of the net. Those were the only two goals that I scored with him, both in the same match, it just so happened. And that was a bit weird. But the rest of the goals for this team... Were scored by Scherler. He was definitely the most outgoing of players, I guess. Like the one that I, I was trying to get the ball to him the most. And of course, he scores like three penalties for us right here. Which is a bit weird. Um, but they were goals nonetheless. He would 
I think he had the best penalty stats out of everyone because I tend to just choose auto, put all of the roles on, you know, the player roles for, the, for, for what they take, free kicks, corners, all of that stuff. So obviously he had the best penalties out of the lot. Um, and he was... He was an interesting card. He's, he, he doesn't feel quite as overpowered as he, did, as he did last year. But what I would say is that he is he's still a very tricky player. Because he's like six foot tall or something, um, he's got a little bit of strength about him, which I like. Uh, the no-touch dribbling right there. That was a good example of no-touch dribbling. The defender thought I was going to cut to the edge of the box. But actually, you know what? I'm going inside and I'm going to score a goal. Um, there's some good strength for him right there, showing, showing that one off. And just absolutely annihilating it into the top of the net. That was the goals with this team. Now, one thing I'm going to say is that I really don't like this formation. I think I kind of needed it in order to play these players where they're at and stuff. But... It's too defensive in my opinion. There's not enough players going forward, which is, of course, an issue. Sanya was pretty average because of his pace. Uh, Jefferson I quite liked. I actually thought he was very good. Really liked Mangala at centre-back. He was actually influential in this team uh, and better than Marquinhos. So I'm, I've given Marquinhos a three-star value for money and a seven out of ten. I got him for 2.4k ages ago. Nowadays, his actual price is around the 7,000 coin mark. And I don't feel you get that much value for your money. He's a bit short. He's a bit weak, which is a problem uh, I find on Ultimate Team. I'm just being truthful with you. Uh, not everyone can get a stellar review every single week. I'm sure that's what you want is actual real reviews from me. Um, in terms of De Rossi, I really liked him. Three and a half star value for money. Again, he's like a 6, 7k player uh, and an 8 out of 10. So he did a pretty standardly good job, but not an absolute world beater. And probably CDM is better than CM for him. Um, Dybala Iturbe, a little bit hit and miss with these guys. Maybe because they wasn't, you know, maybe it's because they didn't have the support that, that I wanted them to have. But we move on to Scherler, who was without doubt the best player in the team. Giving him a four star value for money. You've still got to pay quite a lot. Over 10,000 coins for this guy. But an 8.5 out of 10, he did perform very well. His shooting is nice, his strength is good, and his dribbling is also very, very good. Um, but again, he just doesn't quite take it above uh, to the next level of some of the players that we've used already on this game. I think that's because of his rating. I feel like the higher rated players this year do seem to actually play to their potential, which is good. Which means that Scherler may be a little bit limited, only being 80 rated, should I say. I feel like... He gets to a point and he just can't get past it, if you know what I mean. Maybe you don't, maybe you do, I don't know. But that's the end of the random pick today. If you have enjoyed, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Let's try and hit 2,000 likes on this episode. Big, big thanks for the support last week for the first episode. You guys absolutely smashed that one out of the park. I really like to see that. So uh, continue with all of that. Subscribe to my channel if you are new for more of this type of content. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time, boys. Peace.